Hey everyone, today I'll be going over Leap Code 1051 Height Checker. Uh, it has all this junk here, but basically you're given a list of people's heights. And it's asking uh, if they were to be sorted in a single file line in non-decreasing order, how many of them are out of place, right? Uh, so given this array, if we were to sort it, it would be 111, uh, 2, 3, 4. How many are out of place? Well, let's check. Uh, this is in place. Uh, this is in place. This is out of place. This is in place. This is out of place. Out of place. So there's three. Um, that's actually the output. So yeah, just in brief, and going through the same thing, you could do exactly this, right? Original array, sort it, check the ones out of place. So we're going to do that first. We're going to do two solutions, and I'll explain why one's a little more interview friendly. So, and this is something you could talk about in an interview too. So let's get a clone, and you can use dot clone for this. It's just a, a shallow copy, and the reason being is because we want to sort it, right? We don't want to sort the original, so we have to clone it. Uh, let's also have a result, keep track of the ones that are out of place, then go through both arrays at the same time, and just check, does it match, right? So if the sorted one is not equal to the original, uh, let's just increment uh, res. And then just return res, and it'll be fine. Uh, let's run this code. And then submit it as well. You can see I was doing it a little bit there. Uh, okay, we get 33% time, 12% space. Okay, that's good. So let's talk about time and space on this solution. Uh, time is O n log n. The reason being is we sorted, right? Nothing else matters. n log n is uh, greater than n, so it's n log n. Space is actually O of n. Uh, the reason being is we made a copy of the original array, and we're using n space. So going through another solution, uh, let's just get rid of all this. Uh, we'll still need the res. Let's just count the heights uh, to begin with here. And this is going to be an array called frequency, and it'll be 101. The reason being is if we actually look at the constraints, the height can only be up to 100. So we'll have a height frequencies, and this will be like our height counters. So let's just count the heights to begin with. So basically, uh, for each height in heights, uh, let's count this height, like such. And that'll count all the how many people had each height, right? And then let's go back through our heights array, like such, one more time. And then what we want to do is we also want to keep track of our current height, kind of like a two-pointer style solution. And let's just go as so long as the current height is zero. And let's just keep moving current height forward. The reason we do this is because if the current height, the frequency of current height is zero, that means nobody had this height. So we shouldn't account for it because we don't want to try to track who, who is smaller or bigger than this current height because nobody had this height, so it doesn't matter. So then at this point, we want to check if the current height is not equal to the person standing at this height. And then if it isn't, we increment res. They're out of order. The reason being is we're going left to right in this array. It has to be ascending order. We're counting up from zero for current height. If they don't match, then this must be out of order uh, because uh, otherwise uh, there would be like uh, some mismatch here and the current height would be bigger than it has to be or the heights would be smaller. Yeah, you get the point. The last thing we have to do is decrement uh, the frequency for this current height. The reason we do this is because we counted one more person, right? And if the current height uh, still has more people at this height, that's going to skip this while loop because it won't be zero, and it's going to go through this logic again. So that's why it works. So let's run this and then submit it instantly after. And this should be good. Let's see, 100% time. Uh, space didn't really increase that much. Let's talk about time and space. You can see it's significantly better. It's actually ON. The reason why it's O n time, even with these two loops, is because we're bounded to a constant value of 101. And when we do this while loop, we'll only ever go up to 101, right? Uh, so it's constant. So really, it's just an O n loop here, because we're just going through the array. Space, for the same exact reason, is O 1. It's constant, because the only extra space we use is this frequency array, and it's fixed 101. So that's why this works, just two solutions, of why one might be a little better for an interview and the differences between them. So yeah, and I should mention also this is kind of counting sort. Uh, so if we didn't have this constraint here uh, fixed at 100, uh, then it actually would be n squared because we'd have to keep going through the current heights and you know find the one that has zero. And if it was infinite, then yeah, it would be n squared. So yeah, thank you for watching.